Hello, my name is Emily Ionelli. I'm disabled. I have uh, bipolar disorder and type 1 diabetes. I almost passed uh, in June of 2020. Uh, I was exposed to COVID-19 and it destroyed my organs. Uh, and uh, I, as a result, complications, I uh, went into a diabetic coma and uh, was on a ventilator for two weeks. I worked for 35 years. I'm an accountant, a CPA, but I'm unable to work now. I'm unable to make a living due to my disabilities. I attempted suicide in January of 2019 uh, due to severe depression and uh, financial stress. And uh, I was in a very bad car accident, which I survived. So I survived, and I also had two bouts of pneumonia in January and February of 2020, preceding uh, the COVID-19 exposure and diabetic coma, which was in June of 2020. I'm fully vaccinated. Uh, I have a son who's in a group home, he's autistic. And I'm very concerned from what I heard on the news, MSNBC and CNN, that uh, the Congress has to come together to raise the debt ceiling. The Democrats and the Republicans have to vote on it. I don't understand this, but from what I understand, if the Republicans are defiant as they've been and are obstructionists as they've proven and they don't vote to raise the debt ceiling, it's going to have catastrophic, uh, it's going to be a catastrophe financially. It's going to affect the markets. It's going to affect people who are on Social Security, like myself and my son. Uh, my son's in a group home. Uh, he's autistic, 22, and I'm 60, and I'm disabled, and I rely on my benefits. I'm on long-term disability through the AICPA, and I'm also on Social Security since 2013, both long-term and Social Security disability, and I'm on Medicare, and I have private insurance through my wife. I'm transgender. And I'm very anxious. I'm very upset that it's going to the wire. And uh, the Republicans are playing with people's lives uh, because if they don't vote to raise the debt ceiling, and I don't understand how the Democrats can't do it with a 50 vote. Uh, I don't know if they can do the filib get rid of the filibuster for this. I have no idea. I'm not knowledgeable of politics. I studied engineering and accounting. I didn't take any political science courses. But I know that uh, we've suffered in the past four years with the Trump administration, which was a disaster. And now... We're struggling with this uh, uh, COVID-19 and uh, everything seems to be going uh, in a bad direction. And uh, the Republicans are responsible because they want to sabotage Joe Biden's administration. And it's really affecting people. It's affecting me. I worry for my son. I worry for my family. And I'm concerned because uh, I lost my dad to suicide, my mom to mental illness, and I'm vulnerable. And if I uh, am uh, affected, I mean, if the benefits are stopped, halted because of this debt ceiling matter, uh, I won't be able to pay my mortgage because I rely on both long-term disability and Social Security. And I'm concerned. I'm very worried. And I don't know if I can handle this. Uh, I'm freaking out, actually, and I'm very worried, and I don't know what's going to come of this.
but I blame the Republicans. I hate them. And uh, we have to vote them out, the midterms. We have to. They're, no, they're not doing what they're supposed to. And with uh, what's going on in Florida, with the governor and in Texas, uh, it's it's really terrible. And these children that are going to schools and the f governors in Florida and Texas playing with people's lives and Republicans in general playing with people's lives, it's, it's despicable. Yet people vote these people in office and I don't understand why. Uh, I'm voting Democrat um, and I'm very upset and concerned and worried and I don't know how to uh, handle this. I'm overwhelmed and uh, I may wind up in the hospital. I hope to God that we can get through this and I hope that they raise the debt ceiling. Uh, I don't understand this economy. I don't understand government the way this works and how Social Security, which is supposed to be funded by payroll taxes, how it's even affected by the government. It should be a self-funded thing. And that's another thing they have to address is shoring up Social Security and Medicare because there's millions of Americans that rely on it. And I'm not the only one that relies on it for paying my mortgage and household expenses. There's millions of Americans that are going to be affected by this. And they better get this thing straightened out. Um, that's all I know. I'm very worried. And I, I don't know. I made this video because I'm very concerned. And I pray to God that uh, things will work out. Because I can't take the stress. I hope that we have a good reason. I hope everything works out. Thank you.